Uh, welcome everybody to our Thursday yoga. We are having a little bit different class format today. We'll be using a chair. So any kind of chair that doesn't slide, preferably um, not too high, not too low. So your knees will stay 90 degrees when we are on the chair. Um, that will be uh, helpful. If you notice that your chair is a little bit high, like mine is, um, my knees are not exactly 90 degrees, we can use blocks or stack of uh, books or maybe a blanket. If, if you fold the blanket, put it under your feet, then your knees will be exactly 90 degrees. That will be helpful as well. So take a moment and find um, a chair, find blocks, and I'll meet you right here, seated on your chair when you're ready. Uh, please lean back. If you have a back of your chair available, just lean back and sit comfortably. If you don't have a chair with the back, you can just hold your back nice and tall here. My name is Tatiana, and um, we're going to start our practice today. So sit comfortably and roll your shoulders back a couple of times. Then open up your chest here. Um, bring, let's bring those arms, palms up on your thighs. Mm -hmm. And try to lengthen through your spine. Let's close eyes and envision uh, how the top of our head is trying to reach the ceiling of the space you are in. And you can relax your whole body except your back because we are trying to lengthen here. Keep your chest open as well. Keep your eyes closed, listen to your breath, and do a deep inhale here. Deep inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. We'll do one more inhale through your nose. And exhale through your nose. Good. As you inhale, expand your ribs. You can bring air into your belly as well. And exhale. Release. Nice. We'll do one more breath. Good. And release. You can keep your eyes here, uh, your hands here on your thighs. You can keep your eyes closed. And we will do some um, warm up here seated. Uh, let's turn the head to the right side. Try to look behind you. Keep your, keep your um, torso upright. And then come back to the center. Good. And look to the left side and come back to the center. Nice. We'll do it one more time. Any one of these uh, moves today, poses on the chair, you can do a during. Here, let's actually drop those arms down completely along the side of your chair. Drop your right ear to your right shoulder and then come back to the center length in that neck and drop your left ear to your left shoulder. Nice. We'll flow here a couple more times. Right to right and back to the center. Please breathe. Exhale, left to left. Inhale, back to the center. Let's do one more time. Exhale, right to right. Inhale, center. Good job. Exhale, left to left. And back to the center. Now, we're going to do half circle. We, you can open your eyes if you want. We, can, we will do half circle with that hat. So turn your head to the right and look down towards your shoulder and roll your head down, chin to your chest and then to the opposite shoulder and lift it up, looking to the side again. We'll do it more, a couple more times. Look down to the left, half circle, chin reaching to your chest and then open it to the side. Good. Let's go one more time on each side. Half circle to the left. Nice. Breathe again. Exhale, half circle to the right. Inhale, exhale, circle. Good job. And exhale, one more circle. Good. Find yourself back, looking to the center, to in front of you. Maybe. Sit, um, if you were leaning uh, too far back, maybe sit a little bit taller, we'll do torso circles. So now we are engaging our core, lengthening through the spine, reaching to the right side of our chair, opening our chest to the front, 
reaching to the left side and closing chest to the back. Inhale, open up and circle it out. Good. Engaging that core side, center, side, and circle. Nice. Try to open up that chest as much as possible and then we round it up, round that back as much as possible. Good. Maybe you'll need some more room behind you to maybe shift your, uh, your sitting position to the front of the chair a little bit more so you have more room around your back. Good. Let's do one more. Exhale to the back. Inhale to the front. Exhale to the back. Inhale to the front. Nice. And we switch direction. So now we start to the left, open to the center, to the right side, and close. And let's keep flowing. Inhale and close. Nice. Inhale and close. Exhale. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. Good. Inhale, open. Exhale, close. One more time. Breathe through your nose one more time. Breathing through your nose, find center. Now grab around your knees, or your hands go around your knees, and we will do cat and cow. So cat, we are arching the back, lifting our chest up. Exhale, rounding back, sending those shoulder blades back and away from each other. One more time, open, inhale, really, really pushing that chest forward. Exhale, we close. Inhale, we open. And I want you to engage your ab muscles so, um, so you're not arching and hurting your back. Your abs will not allow you to arch too much. Inhale, open up. Breathe. Exhale, we close. We're going to do it one more time. Inhale, we open. Perfect. Exhale, we close. So let's do just one more. Inhale, we open and exhale, close. Nice. Let's sit back up tall. Inhale, arms come up. Exhale, side bend, reaching to the floor. If it's too much, you can rest your arm on the side of your chair and then come back. Inhale up. Breathe. Exhale, side bend here. Nice. One more time. Inhale, reach. Breathe, exhale, side. Awesome. Let's do one more time. Inhale, reaching up. Perfect. Exhale, side bend. Last time on each side. Inhale up. Try to not lift your hips above that chair. Both hips are grounded. Uh, side of our body is stretching. Inhale up. And exhale, side bend. Yes, come back to the center. Nice. Next, we're going to do white legged um, forward fold. So I will use my blocks on the side. I'll move them to the side of my chair and really open up your hips here. The inner thighs are going to be stretching. Reach tall with your torso. And then just, you can use the chair for support or trying to reach the ground. We're going to fold forward here. Just relax, relax your neck. Forward fold, legs are wide. It should feel really nice. It's like a yogi squat we do on the floor, but we are very well supported here. <clears throat> if the floor is too far, you can use legs of your chair for support. All right, and we're gonna breathe here. <coughs> a couple of breath cycles. Breathe, relax your neck and shake your head. We, are, we have rounded spine here, don't need to worry about length and hinges. Relax and fall down. Nice, but breathe, keep breathing. I like to swing a little bit, my torso side to side, swing the head side to side, and just breathe, very nice. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. All right, let's shake that head a little bit again. And slowly, one vertebra at a time, you can support yourself uh, with the chair. We roll back up. Nice. Now, I'm going to remove uh, maybe uh, just one block. We are going into warrior two supported position on the chair. So right leg is going to stay. Mine is going to stay on the block. Maybe you're reaching the floor just fine. It's bent, and it's in the same position where it just was. 
left leg is completely straight, foot is flat on the ground. Well, if it's hard for you, maybe your chair is a little bit too wide. Uh, maybe it's hard for you to keep it uh, completely straight. That's okay. Lift your arms. And here is our perfect warrior two. Nice and supported. Now we're going to do extended side angle. If you've taken my class before, we do it standing. Now we're going to do it supported and you will feel a big difference. You are feeling a big difference already in this warrior too. So reach forward. Now bring your arm to the inside of your leg and the other arm comes to the ceiling. So what we don't want to do is closing our chest. We actually want to open, keep that chest open and lengthen through the spine. Since this is a very nicely supported warrior two, we're going to stay and breathe here for some time. We're stretching this left side of the body really nicely, opening nicely through the chest and lengthening through the spine. So top of your head is reaching that wall on your right side. Now, keep breathing, don't hold your breath. We're gonna bring this upper arm to your ear and increase that side stretch even more. Reach to the wall with that arm and push your foot, left foot into the ground. Reach the side wall. Very nice. Let's draw a circle with this upper arm. Bring it through a circle up again, and then circle it out. Nice, so let's do a couple more here. Circle, and up, nice, last time. Circle, and up, good. Let's engage your obliques, and let's lift that torso back up. Let's do that, nice job. Reverse that warrior. And don't worry, we will stand up eventually. We'll try all of this on the floor, but uh, this is just for us to warm up a little bit better and try something new. So we're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So my left leg is gonna come on the block. Right leg will be straight. Again, if you don't have a block, try to get to the floor or maybe you're, you, you, you'll be on your tippy toes. Or maybe your chair is not as high and you can easily reach the floor. All right, right leg is on the floor flat, open, warrior two. And this is exactly how warrior two should look when we are just standing without the chair. Uh -huh. So uh, our knee is 90 degrees, our leg is nice and strong. Let's reach to the left now arm to the inner inside of your leg and open up. And this is exactly how our extended side angle is gonna look like when we practice it standing. Now, try to open up your chest a little more, lengthen a little more through the spine, one long line, leg to the top of your head, good. Let's bring this right arm to your ear and reach to the side. Oh, very nice, just reaching and stretching should feel really nice here. Good, let's do big circles now with the arm. Bring it up and circle it. Bring it up, good job, and circle. Good, let's do a couple more. Inhale, reach, and circle, last one. Inhale, reach, and circle, good. Use your obliques, engage your core, lift your torso up. Reverse warrior, uh-huh, reaching back. Just breathe here. You can look up, you can look straight. Looking up will be a little bit more challenging. Looking down will be a little bit easier. Very nice. Good. All right, come back to the center. Bring your feet back. Uh, to the front of your chair. We will we'll need one block and we will do figure four stretch here. I like to sit a little bit to the front of the chair. Right leg is going to come on top of the left. Flex your foot, flex your right foot. Your left foot is flexed already on the floor or on the block. Sit nice and tall. Good. And uh, we're just going to keep arms here or arms will try to reach the floor. 
Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, fold over your right leg. Good. And we're just going to try to relax here. People uh, with very tight IT bands and uh, glued um, will, will be like, look, they look like me. <laughs> They'll stay pretty high here. But if you have flexible um, IT bands, fle flexible glutes, you, you might be reaching the ground. Uh huh. Just take a couple of breaths. It should feel nice and, and relaxing here. Good. And I like to keep my foot, uh, just checking my foot to be flexed here. Breathe and try to not round your back. Try to actually lengthen your spine here. Perfect. Let's keep this leg on, but we will cross it over completely and sit tall. We'll do seated twist here. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, your left arm goes against your right leg and your right arm goes, you can go behind your back and, and push against the seat of your chair, or you can go behind the back of your chair and even help yourself to twist a little bit. All right, we're gonna breathe here. Couple of breaths and twist. Uh huh. Keep that spine tall. Our goal here is lengthening. Lengthening. Good. Breathe one more breath. Come back to the center. And we're going to switch legs. So, switching those legs. Left leg comes to the top. Figure four, stretch first. Flex your foot. Keep that knee down. Lengthening. And then we fold over that leg good and again uh no no judgment here no worries no concerns we are all different i cannot really go lower than this maybe some of us will go really low reaching the floor at this time so however we are we feel great we are working to become more healthy strong flexible all right, let's take a couple more breaths here. You're trying to relax that glute, relax the IT band. Just take that time. Listen to your body. If it's too painful, you can just sit tall, press your knee down, and that will be enough. Uh-huh. Let's do one more breath. And stand, uh, lengthening up here. All right, bring your leg over. Sit tall, we're gonna bring those arms up. Right arm comes against your left leg. Uh, left arm goes behind while well, I, I grab the top of my uh, chair back and then I try to um, twist a little more, help me with that arm. Good, try to lengthen that spine and we breathe. We stay nice and tall here. Keep breathing. Good job. We breathe a couple more times. Mm -hmm. And come back to the center. Nice. Let's unwind those legs. Inhale, reach up. Exhale, we're just going to fold over. Grab underneath your uh, thighs. And round your back. Push your shoulder blades up and away from each other. Very good. All right, and then lengthen your spine. Okay, we're gonna stand up. We'll stand up and we'll bring the chair in front of you. Mm -hmm. Good. Now your right leg is gonna come on top and left leg is gonna go back. We'll be in the warrior one position here. Well, a little bit modified warrior one. So front knee will be 90 degree, left foot, 45 degrees. Mm -hmm. Inhale, reach those arms up and stay here. So I would like you to sink your hips down. You'll feel my nice stretch in that hip flexor here. Actually, let's do a couple of moves here to just warm up those hip flexors. We've been sitting for some time. So we will extend our front leg and then we bend and sink again into that warrior one. We inhale, extend the and exhale, sink down. Inhale, extend, good. Exhale, we sink down, nice. Keep that foot complete, back foot completely on the floor. 
exhale, we sink, let's go a couple more. Inhale, we open, exhale, we sink. Good, inhale, we open, let's stay down. Stay down, nice, hold it. Uh -huh. Reach out with your torso, four, breathe, three, and two. Now arms go right on your chair and we extend that front leg. Uh -huh. Let's bounce again a little bit forward first and then send your hips back. Now you can turn your base foot, um, maybe uh, less than 45 degrees, reach forward and hips back. Uh -huh. Sink down. And back, good, and down. And let's hold it back. It's okay if the leg doesn't straight completely, doesn't uh, extend completely, that's fine. Align your hips just like we do when we do uh, this half split wrap on the floor. So both hips are facing forward and we hold over that leg, good. Uh, you can, you can um, wiggle it, you can just hold it. Take your time here. Couple of breaths here. Nice. Mm -hmm. Good, good, good. Perfect. And let's sink your hips down again. Nice lift and step up. We're gonna do the same thing on the other side. So left leg comes on the chair. Right foot 45 degrees, and we will find that distance as we lower. So lower first, make sure your, your front knee is not in front of your toes, your front knee is right above your heel. And then we, we find maybe you have to step back a little bit, maybe you stay where you are. All right, inhale, bring those arms up. Good, sink lower, and let's do dynamic first. Extend and bend, nice. Extend, good, and bend, nice job. Let's do a couple more, extend, and bend, sink down, extend, good, and breathe, we exhale, and inhale, we exhale, good job, inhale, perfect, exhale, and inhale, last one, Whoop. stay down, we just hold here. Uh -huh. back leg is super strong. Your back knee is, uh, knee cup is lifted. So your back leg is not resting. It's actually engaged. Four, mm -hmm. three, and two. Arms down, extend your front knee. And hold, maybe wiggle, maybe just hold static. Again, check your hips, both hips facing forward and breathe here. So here the goal is to lengthen that spine. So we don't wanna just collapse. We wanna lengthen, send your hips back, shoulders away from ears. Mm -hmm. Couple breaths, very nice. Mm -hmm. Good job. Perfect, perfect. Let's bring it in and out a couple times here, down and extend. Sink down and extend. Let's do two more. Sink down and extend. Last one. And we will hold it for just a little longer. We hold. You'll notice today's class, well, it's very unusual format, right, for this class, but uh, something different for us to try and uh, a lot more deeper stretches for your legs, your, your, um, we did already oblique stretch. We will focus on our back next. So deeper stretches, um, we, that's our focus for today. Deeper poses. And let's come down. And now we're gonna step off that chair. Very nice one. All right, we're gonna come uh, about a couple feet away from the chair. And uh, we'll do our sun salutation uh, serious. So we usually start with this one, but we will kind of jump, uh, put those in the middle today. Inhale, reach those arms up. Exhale, we're going to do forward fold on the chair. So you, your arms will come on the chair. So round your back, bend your elbows, and then 
Inhale, halfway lift. Really lengthen your back here. And it's really easy and feels really good lengthening. Push your tailbone back, forehead, uh, or the top of your head, actually, the top of your head forward. And push your shoulders away from your ears. Chair really helps us here to lengthen nicely. Good. Inhale, lengthen. Exhale, let's hold all the way to the floor. Don't hit your head on the chair. Uh huh. Good. Inhale, let's do halfway here now and, and feel the difference. Uh huh. Actually, you want to feel pretty much the same. So push your shoulders back, hips back, or uh, top of your head forward. Good. Roll it down and then roll it all the way to standing. Inhale, arms up. We're going to do it again. Exhale, fold on the chair, bend your elbows. Really relax your neck, relax your spine. And then inhale, we lengthen, pushing your tailbone back, top of your head forward, shoulders away from your ears. It feels amazing here. Let's stay here. We'll do cat and cow in this position now. You can slightly bend those knees, round your back, exhale, um, belly button in. Inhale, open up, look up. Exhale, round chin to chest. Inhale, open up, look up. Good job. One more time. Exhale, round. Awesome. And I extend my legs actually here to, to lengthen my back even more. Inhale, open up, bend my knees here. All right, let's do it again. Exhale, round. Awesome. Inhale, open. Last time through. Exhale, round. Good job. Inhale, open. All right. Keep your arms on that chair, step back into your high plank. All right, so we are all in the high plank. Maybe go a little bit back. So shoulders should be right above those wrists. Uh-huh, torso is one straight line, so don't drip your head down. Neck, spine, hips, and heels, one straight line. Squeeze your glutes, squeeze your abs. So we are here, it's easier than the fourth but it's still not super easy, right? You can feel your core is working like crazy here. All right, we're gonna do Chaturanga here. So bend your elbows, go halfway down. Inhale, open up into upward facing dog and send your hips back for a downward facing up. Let's bring those feet apart. Oh, this one feels amazing as well. So push your hips back as far as you can. On lengthen your torso here. Arms are still on the chair. Nice. So good. Inhale, come back to your plank. Nice and strong. Inhale here, exhale halfway down. Inhale, open up and you open as much as you feel comfortable, okay? Exhale, downward facing up. So if arching your back is not working as good today, just stay in the plank and then switch to downward facing down. This one should feel amazing. Let's do it again. Inhale, plank. Hold the plank. Hold it nice and strong. Squeeze your glutes. Three, two. Bend your elbows. And now open up your chest. Push your shoulders down. Feel that opening in the front of your body. Good. Push it back. Downward facing dog. So great. All right. Well, we're doing it last time. Nice and strong plank. Hold it here, shoulders away from your ears. We're going to add a couple of knees. So right knee comes to your chest. Right leg goes back, like almost three like a dog. Uh -huh. <laughs> knee to chest. Back up. Let's round that back. Knee to chest. In half back. Lift it as high as possible. Engage your glute. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach back. Squeeze that glute. Exhale, round. Inhale, squeeze that glute. One more time. Exhale, round. Inhale, reach up. Good. Bring your leg down. Chaturanga. Down, halfway. Open up. Downward facing down. Couple of breaths here. If, you, if your wrists are tired, roll your wrists here while we rest in the downward dog. Okay? All right. Almost down here in the plank. Down back. Down to a plank, left leg, knee to chest. Lift it up, engage that glute, let's go. Knee to chest, lift it up. Knee to chest, 
Now lift it up. Exhale, round nose, round knee to nose. Inhale, lift. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Keep going. Exhale, round. Inhale, lift. Keep going. Exhale, round. Good job. Good job. Inhale, lift. Couple more. Exhale. Good. Inhale. Lift it higher. Exhale. Lift it higher. Hold it. Bring it down. Chaturanga. Squeeze your abs. Let's go. Hop. Open up. Downward facing dog. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Walk your feet to your arms. Roll your torso up to standing. Roll your shoulders back. Nice. Hopefully your chair didn't slide. Well, if you had it on your yoga block, it should be perfect. I forgot to mention that. Uh, not on block, on, the, on your yoga mat. So next we will be doing a three pose supported today. So we'll be holding it for a little longer. We will be uh, pushing our limits with the core work a little more. So I'm going to start with the chair on my right side. And I'll be standing on my right leg. So for your three pose, we can start in the kickstand, but I think with the chair support, we can definitely go higher on the ankle or go all the way to your inner thigh. Now from here, if you see, I just uh, pushed my hips to the chair. That's not good. So we're gonna push that right hip to align it with your knee and to press your leg against your left leg. Uh -huh. So both legs are pressing against each other. Now we're gonna lengthen here, squeeze your glutes, engage your abs. Lengthen that spine, reaching up with the top of your head. Good. I'm gonna bring my left arm up. If it feels very good, you feel so comfortable, you can bring the other arm up as well and stay here. If you need support, definitely your chair is right there. You can just hold it. But don't sink on the arm, don't sink on the hip. Engage both legs, engage your core. Uh -huh. And we stay here and breathe. You breathe, drop your shoulders lower, lengthen your spine. Remember your glutes are engaged, your legs are engaged. Uh -huh. Breathing. Awesome. Breathe. Let's do one more breath. And turn your knee forward. Release. Good. So I'm going to move my chair to the other side. And we'll do this. We'll do it on the other side. Again, we don't really need it, especially if we practice for a while, but just to even just to start, it's really helpful. So I'm going all the way up to my thigh with my right leg. Again, if you notice my hips sink because I haven't started engaging those legs yet. So hips aligned with each other, your left. Open shoulders down, top of your head up. We breathe here. Start breathing. Actually, if you close your eyes, you can hold this pose pretty much probably only with chair support. With open eyes, we can lift those arms up. If you want to close your eyes, I would keep one arm down. <laughs> you can try. You can try lifting. Nope, it's really challenging. Close the eyes. It's challenging to lift both arms. You can try. I'm trying, but it doesn't work. So I'll close my eyes just to try something different. Uh-huh. And then keep my left arm on the chair. And we are holding. Again, engaging both legs. Core is engaged. Shoulders down. Lengthening through the spine. Is that. Good. Breathe here. Breathe. Couple more breaths. Mm -hmm. Lengthen, lengthen, lengthen. Okay, I'm gonna open my arms, bring my eyes, bring my arms up, both of them. And we're gonna release it all down. Nice job. Shake it out. Perfect. So we're gonna do one more move with the chair. 
and it's going to be a side ledge. So uh, since I have it on the left side, I'm going to leave it on the left side. It's going to look the same as Warrior 2. Uh, so I'm going to bring that right, uh, left leg up, right leg down, and I will sink on it. Maybe hold it at the back of your chair. So now when you sink, make sure your knee doesn't sink uh, beyond your heel. It stays right above your heel, but you want to sink lower. So if you need to sink lower, move your right foot out. So legs are pretty wide here. Legs are pretty wide and we are sinking down, sinking those hips down. So let's open up the chest, even though you might need support like I do on that leg, and we will sink down. Good. Let's do a dynamic stretch. We extend and we lower. When you lower, inhale, extend, exhale, lower. Check that knee. Please don't pass the, the heel, heel line. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Good job. Inhale, lengthen, exhale, lower. Stay here. We're going to do that extended side angle again. We reach up and over. We sink down. Good. And we're going to do reverse one with straight leg. Don't fall, please. Be careful here. Uh-huh. And we're going to do one more with straight leg. So we're going to do side bend with one leg straight. This feels good. Uh-huh. Nice. I, I have my foot upwards, so that way I'm actually stretching the hamstring here. Good, reach, reach, reach. Nice, come back. Awesome, let's switch it up. So I'm just gonna move my chair to the other side and we're gonna do the side lunge here. Legs are pretty wide, knees over the heel. Sink it down, check it out first. So both hips face forward, knee doesn't collapse forward, okay? Push it back, push it back. And arms, we bring them up. And down, good, let's go up. Breathe, and down, nice. Keep that knee over the heel, inhale up. Awesome, and down, good job, inhale, reach. Perfect, exhale, down. A couple more movements here, inhale, reach. And lower, last one, reach. Lower, stay down. We're going to extend the side angle. So one arm to the inside of your leg, the other one, arm is up and over, and reach. Breathe here, awesome. Again, make sure your knee is right above that heel. Good, let's reverse it straight leg. Very careful, reverse. And we're gonna do straight leg stretch here. To the side, feels amazing. If you need support, grab the top of your chair. Hold it here, breathe. Very nice. Breathing, breathing. Good, good, good. Uh-huh. And come on. Okay, let's step off. Move the chair. We will not use it again after this movement. And come to your mat. So we're gonna practice some of the poses we did on the chair here on your mat. And uh, so, uh, some of us done those before, inhale up. Exhale, we fold forward and walk your arms to the front of your mat, find that high plank. All right, let's see the difference. High plank here, high plank on the chair, nice. We're gonna go halfway down and you can keep your knees up or you can drop them down. Get open for that upward facing dog. Uh-huh, and then tuck your toes under, send your hips up, downward facing dog. Shake your head here. All right, again, chair, how it feels? Does it feel different? Where does it feel different from what we felt when we had support the downward facing dog? A lot more stretching those calves now. All right, let's do it again. High plank. I'm going to lower my knees <laughs> halfway down, open up, and downward facing down. Good, 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 good. All right, now we're going to lift that right leg, three like a dog. Similar, we did it with the chair, but we didn't lift as high. Knee to nose. We did that as well. Inhale, lift. 
Exhale, you're gonna step it through. Find warrior two right away, right here. Haha. Uh -huh. So we tried supported, we tried unsupported. Let's reverse it, sink down, sink down. Now the legs are working hard. Exhale, extended side angle, reach the front. Open and hold. Hold and breathe. Four, four. Yep, chest is open, three. Good job. Two. And one, let's reverse it one more time. Let's do triangle pose here as well. So extend your front knee, reach forward, open in the triangle. Good job. Mm -hmm. Lengthen here. Good, this is similar to what we did with the straight leg on the chair and reverse. Good, perfect. Let's windmill those arms. We're gonna repeat on the other side. Get step back, vinyasa flow. So now, by doing this on the floor, I cannot really tell that it was so much easier on the chair. <laughs> it was a little easier, but not a ton. So we're gonna lift that left leg up now. Left leg up, left knee to the nose. Uh-huh, left leg up again. And left knee to your nose. Good, step it through. Warrior two, open up. Back leg is straight, front leg 90 degrees. Nice, reverse it, inhale. And exhale, extended side angle, reach forward, open up. Inhale, center, exhale, reverse. Good, inhale, center, extended side angle. Hold it, breathe. Chest is open. Uh huh. Reverse. Inhale. Exhale, wind, move your arms, vinyasa. Good. Perfect. Open up. And downward facing. Done. Good job. All right. Now, let's drop those knees down. We're going to do puppy dog. Uh, keep your, try to keep your hips above those knees just where they are right now. Step your arms forward a little bit and then lower your chest down. So chest is trying to reach the ground. Forehead can go on the, on the floor. Hips are reaching up. And maybe you need to step those arms forward a little bit more. Your spine should be really long. Slight arch, slight arch in your lower back, slight arch in your upper back, but not Huge arch in your lower back and no movement in your upper back. Both of those should be slightly arching. Breathe here. Let's breathe. Mm -hmm. Awesome. And let's come back. Actually, let's do the uh, cat and cow here. Just to stretch it out now around your back. Inhale, flat or open. Exhale, round. Breathe, inhale, flat. Good. So we are going to stretch those legs a little more. Today's our like stretching day. So let's find the plank. Mm -hmm. Right knee to your right wrist. We are preparing for a pigeon. So bring your ankle a little higher. Make sure your back leg is lengthened behind you. Hips are squared facing forward. We're going to start with lifting our chest up. Lift your chest up, shoulders down, sinking those hips down, opening up and breathe. Just breathe here. You might feel slight stretching your abs, mm -hmm. but for sure, you might feel stretching your uh, hip flexor and the glute on the other side. Breathe, breathe, uh-huh. One more breath, and then we can lower it down. Lower down, relax. Now we relax completely. And breathing, you can close your eyes. Sending your breath through areas of tension. A 
couple more breaths here. Oh, let's do one more breath. Nice, lift your chest up again. Prepare to send your right leg back into plank. We can do downward dog here just to stretch it out quick. Uh -huh. And then the left leg comes to your left wrist. I like to lift that ankle a little higher and lengthen back leg further out. Nice. Lift your chest. Let's stay here. Breathe. Stretching those abs a little bit. Nice. Shoulders down, long neck. Mm -hmm. Breathe and relax. Good job. Once you're ready, one more inhale and lower it down. Don't just sit on this one hip. So the other one lifts. Let's keep them both at the same level. So maybe you're not going to reach the ground. And if it's too much, you can use a block. My blocks are too far away, but you can use a block or a blanket again to put it under your, your hip. Breathe here. Let's do two more deep breaths. One, one more. And prepare to send it back into downward facing dog. Mm -hmm. Nice. Stretch it out. This is going to be our last stretch. And then drop your knees down on the floor. Turn around. We're going to sit down. Mm -hmm. And slowly lower it all the way to your back. Bring your knees in. Roll your back on the floor. Good. Inhale here. Exhale around your back. Bring knees to your chest, forehead to your knees. And then we release everything down. Arms fall, legs fall open. Back is relaxed and neutral, preferably neutral. We're breathing. Shoulders away from those ears. Eyes closed. And we breathe really deep here. Deep breath in. Very nice. One more breath. Try to scan your body from the inside. How does it feel? Do we feel any different than when we started? Uh, do our legs feel great today after stretches? Our core was strengthening and stretching. Couple more breaths. You can stay here for as long as you need to. This is your Shavasana. For this class, we're gonna start turning to the side, but please stay. If you have time, stay and relax a little more. We're ready to come out, we turn to the right. Keep those eyes closed. Find seated position here, just keeping those eyes closed, just a comfortable seat. Inhale, bring your arms up. Gather all positive energy in the finger arms. Bring it to your heart center. Namaste, everybody. Thank you so much for joining our Thursday yoga. I'm so excited, so happy uh, to see you all. And um, I'll meet you next Thursday, same time. Please provide feedback on our new props today. We would like to hear from you. Thank you so much.